Hi, I'm Sundance Metelsky, and this is my Map of the Soul, uh, inspired by Carl Jung and Murray Stein's book, uh, Jung's Map of the Soul, as well as just my own intuition and so on. Um, going to start here at the top with the persona and ego. Uh, for the ego, I have this uh, figure relaxing on a couch like at the analyst office and that's a picture of me on there and then the persona I have this all-seeing eye because the persona is so interested in image and on the back of the persona you see here is the annals and feeling like a pie is in in their face while they're at the analysis so it's just a little uh, experience of persona there um, and just speaking of the map in general I really wanted to give a sense of the dynamism of the psyche um, I wanted to oops wanted to have the colors starting out light and getting darker and darker as we get down to the collective unconscious and the de the depths so um, Anyway, I'm just going to go around and explain the different parts. Um, over here, we have the personal unconscious. Here we have a figure. One of the things is I wanted some of my figures to move. And uh, in the personal unconscious, here's some love imagery. And um, also at the personal unconscious level, we have these sort of different elements tumbling down, which was evocative of complexes to me, just sort of the complexes sliding down the slide downhill. Um, and then moving a little bit deeper, we come to the shadow. And for the shadow images, I have like this woman looking at herself in the mirror, sort of not recognizing herself, uh, this kind of uh, figure that's sort of like a, a demonic kind of figure emerging from the original figure, which sometimes is how a shadow can feel. Um, and then these these women all in dark veils and uh, just sort of unknown. Then I have this, again, a moving figure here that's kind of mysterious and not really clear what that is, which is sometimes how, how the shadow can feel. It's sort of going all over the place there. You see what I mean, how uh, this thing takes on a life of its own. And then moving over this way, we have uh, come to anima and some figures of anima, uh, female figures here, different aspects. This one again is a moving one, uh, this sort of goddess, spiritual anima. Coming back around, we're coming toward the animus and so we have with this figure kind of uh, an engagement going on there. And here we come to the animus and sort of different different aspects of the male and the animus. Here's another moving fellow. Whoops, there he goes. Um, and then a sort of the wiser, older wizard. And then we're coming down into sort of the more archetypal energies here. Um, different imagery here. And coming, you see the bear and the candle, the spiral, hawk, and these are all emerging from the collective unconscious, sort of different layers of the collective unconscious. And here are some cave paintings. The word I have archetypes, but they're sort of all throughout this, this level, uh, the archetypes. And then coming around to the back part here, you know, we see some more images of um, just sort of the back side of all of this. And up here, I want to point out that this is where our, the persona and the ego are, and they're, they're over something that they can't see down into. That goes down into the self. Here's a image um, that is just sort of mysterious. And here is a uh, goddess at a labyrinth that is kind of like the, the guardian to the temple of the self. Let me hold this. And then this 
is a, a loose image. This is uh, from a dream I had about um, a bunch of archetypes and complexes where a black ribbon was left on the stage and that was the last thing to be removed. So it's, it's here. And then this down here in the back is the, the self. And you see how that, the self, the under, under part here is sort of holding all that is above. And if I open this veil, we can take a look inside at some of what's going on. You can see some of the sticks from the figures that are on the other side. And there's the New Grange Triple Spiral, which is for me a symbol of the self. It's a hand. There's this image of this self with the moon and the stars, and another image of self pointing toward that image. Here we have the word self. And finally there, oh, there's a little goddess of self. And finally this image, which um, I took a class called The Colors of My Soul, and this image came from a journey I had of what are the colors of my soul. And what I saw in that journey was a turquoise egg inside a deep well that had sort of black muck and mud. And that well was in a big green field. And uh, this was the, the image I made from that. And it felt like sort of to put inside the self, that's what I put. So again, emerging from, from the self, inner port portion, and the, the back of the, um, the thing. So I'm gonna just turn this slowly so you can sort of see it as is all. That persona on top is hard to capture. Oh, there. Here comes Animus. And again, I was really going for dynamism, shifting, movement, not firm categories, not firm delineations, as personally I don't really think it works in a firm mapping. It's a more dynamic mapping where things can shift and move. Um, even in the process of creating this, um, I can tell you that things shifted and moved and it ended up not exactly as I had planned it, but I just allowed, you know, intuition to guide and, and finally at the end, coming back into the self. So that's my map of the soul.